Here we go again. Uh, I got a request for comments on this map from its author, Freezes Christ, which is fantastic, by the way. Uh, it's just called Research Lab, and it's uh, his, I think, the first single player map he released after some experiments. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, I, I like this already, by the way. You you might know that I love the tech bases, and uh, I love the complexity of the, uh, the ceilings and floors and nooks and crannies here. There we go. I'm, I'm right at home. This is episode one territory. Let's take the shotgun from the more unfortunate marines that came before me. Nice little uh, area open to the sky there. Transparent UAC glass. Definitely a lot of hit scanners to worry about. I was uh, curious about the music. Oh, you're using the um, oh, the alternative uh, imps as well. I was curious about the music because it sounded a bit Command and Conquer at the start, but I don't know where it's from, and I'm more concerned about whether I'm going to get a copyright strike on it for featuring it on my channel. We'll see. All right. So it looks like we are looking for the red key. And uh, just now, I'm really looking for some shells, honestly, because I've got plenty of uh, bullets. It's just going to take a while to get them into the right places. This mod was a bit of a challenge to run, by the way. You, you really uh, set me up a conundrum there, because it uh, there was a Z script error in it, uh, it just a, a missing actor. It was looking for a... An, an actor to inherit from, and there was a just a colon with nothing after it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just uh, something that maybe a later or earlier version of Zed Doom could cope with and quietly run anyway. I don't know. And uh, it comes in, I think, four separate files. One for the music, one for the map, and a couple of texture packs. I've never been quite sure of the etiquette uh, behind including texture packs in your mod. Because I, I just... I got the impression that you, you're meant to just copy the ones you used and uh, put them in your mod yourself. But I don't know, I always felt weird about that and that I should really include the the uh, texture pack as a dependency. I don't know. Anyway, um, I, I do love this room. There's all these layers of lights and things. I, I was wondering what to say about this because when, when, you, when you go over here, <laughs> you just run all the way over it. But it would be really awkward if you somehow couldn't. So, um, so I don't really know. Let's see what it did. Turned something off anyway. Oh, well, use some effect. Going to hope there's another one. Have you put? You have indented both those monitors. That's that's a lot of attention to detail. I always feel like I'm boxing myself in whenever I put a load of detail in like that, because I've, uh, I have I know I'm going to have to keep that throughout the rest of the map if one of the places is really detailed. There we go, red key card, ammunition. Oh. No need for more ammunition. Worst possible random number generation there, taking uh, two shotgun blasts to kill two imps in a row. Okay. Really starving me of uh, shell ammunition here, but uh, then again, it is a map 01. Uh, presumably, more uh, weapons would come later. just slightly, I suppose, dull to have to have to plink your way through this army. 
All right. Thank you. Nice little switch box there. I do, I do really like the decorations. There's, there's so much detail in them. Oh, where are you? Ooh! Oh, sorry, that was a bit camp, but uh, the uh, there we go, chain gun. That's what I've needed. Am I am I meant to crouch and uh, jump in this map? No, I, I think this is impassable. No, it isn't. Okay. All right. I was about to say this, because that, that, uh, that I think was the first attack where I've been pincers from both sides, and I didn't have to just uh, control the room that was in front of me. Not sure about using the SW2 textures, but uh, they're, they're kind of disguised, anyway. They're, um, usually a light on means uh, you have switched the switch, and a light off means the opposite. Oh! They come in invisible varieties as well. That's just great. Okay, finally I can uh, send shells to use. Definitely uh, something from the mod archive, this music, isn't it? It's got that sound to it. I just love how many ways you can draw sectors and pull them up and down and have them be different things. Who needs static meshes? Huh? So, did I have that switch in? Someone's left his brain behind. Oh, there. Oh! Oh! Clo getting close to the end of level, getting uh, more brutal with the traps. Ah! Well, <laughs> rubbish way to lose some health. Any health in here? Any health from you? No, no, no. Six more to go. And my survival will largely depend on uh, how good I am at uh, looking around corners before I step there. Hmm? Oh, that one didn't open. Ah! Thank you. That was a nice little section. So where... where is my next place I should go? That's the exit. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, there we go, okay. It exited a bit uh, earlier than I expected. <laughs> um, but no, that was that was a very competently made tech-based map. I, I love the up and downiness of the architecture and everything. Sometimes a bit unclear what switch did or where to go next, so you had to backtrack a bit and then, oh yes, you found another route. But but otherwise, that's I, I think that was great, and uh, if you are turning this into a bigger episode or megawad, then uh, I would love to play more of it. Thank you very much for suggesting it to me. <laughs>